Return to the back, get up what it is, what it does, what it is, what it is. Looking for a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hit. Get up, first shot, come strut, walk it. A little bit of humble, a little bit of cautious. Somewhere between like Rocky and Cosby's for the game. Nope, nope, y'all can't copy it. Yeah. Glad, we're walking in this here. It's a party. My posse's been on Broadway, and we did it all way. Flow music, I shed my skin and put my bones into everything. I record to it, and yet I'm on Let that stage light. Go and shine on down. Got that Bob Barker. Suit game and plank up with my style. Money, stay on my craft and stick around for those pounds. But I do that to pass the torch and put on for my town. Trust me, I'm my I N D E P E N D E N T and hustling. Chasing dreams since I was 14 with the four track busting. Halfway across that city with the black, 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 Labels out here. Right. Welcome to today's episode of The Peak. Tyler Costin here coming at you from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, Rudy Bentley Jr. coming at you from Atlanta, Georgia. Rudy, what's good today? Man, how's it going, everybody? Excited to be here. Ready to get after it with all you guys. It's going to be fun. All right, we're not going to talk a lot because today is about getting a sweat. And I know that last week when we did Rudy's uh, basketball strong workout, many of you got your family members doing it with you. I saw many cool videos of that. I would love it if you set up your phone or something, just take a little video of you doing the workout today. Would love to have you just post that video and tag PGC basketball in it. Afterwards, I actually have some special guests that are going to be doing the workout with me. Uh, my daughters, Cody and Charlie, at some point are going to be doing uh, the workout with me as well. Um, and I celebrate that. Uh, we're, let's open it up with some celebrations. And uh, Rudy, you can kick us off. But as you're thinking of yours, Rudy, if everyone could please go down to your chat box and click the blue button at the bottom of the chat, change it to all panelists and attendees. That way you can celebrate your fellow attendees, your fellow players, coaches, parents, sons and daughters that are working out with you. And uh, go ahead and just drop a celebration in the chat box. Maybe someone in your life that has encouraged you uh, since Chad's encouragement last, uh, last episode. Rudy, what's your celebration? You know, my celebration is for everybody on the call right now that's hitting a single, you know, and by hitting a single, what I mean is just, you're here, you're trying to get 1% better today. I know there's a lot of things that have inhibited us from doing our regular day-to-day -day routines. And I see 384 people and counting right now, 80, 386 now, you're all here hitting a single today. And that's just really cool to see you out here trying to get 1% better, not letting, you know, your outside circumstances dictate how you approach every day. It gets me really excited. Yes, and hey, before we go any further, I got to extend a celebration. I can't tell you, I've gotten numerous emails, text messages, uh, Twitter tags for people just getting scores and getting buckets on your 2020 vision workout. And I got a full video from one of our, one of our PGC family down in Mexico that thought they set the record. And then under the gun, Dalton Peterson uh, came in with the highest score to date of 135 makes on the 2020 vision workout. And you can check the chat box right now. You can see exactly uh, what he posted. And we would love for you to continue to shoot, continue to set scores and add to that Twitter feed and let us know what your score is. Uh, the hashtag is going to be PGC 2020 Vision Workout. You can see that in your chat box. Uh, Rudy, tell everybody what we're working on today. Man, you know what? Before we do that, I just want to shout out Dalton again. You beat my score. I had the record at 132 and you got me. So Dalton, I'm coming for you. I'm going to shoot after you get done with this. Um, but today for our workout, we're hitting the upper body circuit. We got six workouts. We got 40 seconds going with the workout, 20 seconds rest in between. And we're doing two rounds of that. So it's going to be real simple. And uh, Tyler, unless you got anything else to say, I'm ready to work out. Man. You ready to work out? I, I am. I do, as always, Rudy. I got, I got two more things to say, oh, actually. Wow. So excited, uh, one, so I got to remind our people in the chat, many of you are still just chatting to the panelists. That's just me and Rudy. Uh, so switch your setting on the blue button on the bottom right of the chat to all panelists and attendees. As many people, we're up over, we're almost at 450 people working out live. And then here's the last thing for producer Kyle. If you can just make sure that the chat is enabled. Um, that being said, Rudy, let's get get after it let's do it all right so before we get started everyone i'm gonna give you a few seconds uh for the workout today the only equipment that you'll need is yourself 
than something like this. So it can be a chair, it can be a table, really anything. So go ahead and find something. We're gonna give about 20, 30 seconds right now for you to hustle, uh, get your blood flowing and go and find something that you can use like this as a platform as we'll need something like this for a number of our workouts. There we go. There's my, there's my two assistants right there. Wave, oh coach, and Chubb. They are going to get after it with me as well. I'm hoping I can keep up. I know those two got a lot of energy right now. I know they're looking like they're ready to go. So we're going to start in about 10 seconds. I'll explain what we're doing while you finish grabbing those, um, those platforms. You won't need them for the first workout, so you can put them off to the side for this first one. The first thing we're doing is we're just going push-ups, wide grip push-ups. So on these, instead of having your hands facing with your fingers facing forward, we're actually gonna have our fingers facing out like this. And so when we do these push-ups, our hands will be out, our palms will be wider than our shoulders, and when we go down, our elbows will come out, our chest will touch the floor and we'll come back up. Um, if you need to be on your knees to do that, that's fine as well. Um, we're gonna go for 40 seconds, and then we're gonna have a break. So I'll start the timer and then we'll get going. Ready, yeah. set, go. Let's get it, ah, just all the way down, yeah. Nice, wide grip. Fingers facing out, nice. Now if you really want to get the most out of these, it's not how many you can get, it's about going slow and controlled on the way down and exploding on the way up. You wanna control yourself on the way down so that way you actually get more of a workout as you control your body weight on the way down. If you just drop to the ground, you don't get as much out of the workout. So it's not about how many you can get, it's all about time under tension. Here you go, it's how the way to push. Yeah. Hey, keep going. I see you. We got about five seconds left. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. You got this. And stop. All right. We got 20 seconds break. We got a break. Good job, ladies. Way to work. Way to work. Yeah, stretch it out. Stretch it out. My, uh, my daughter, Charlie, said, why do we do it with our hands out like this? That's such a good question. And you know, the reason why we're doing that is so we can protect our wrist. When you do a lot of push-ups and you have your hands like this, it's a lot of pressure on your wrist. You can end up hurting your wrist. So by having your hands out, you actually put less pressure on your wrist and you protect yourself from getting hurt. Good question. Gosh, such a good question. Now next up, we will need these. So go ahead and grab those platforms or those chairs or whatever you have and go ahead and put it behind you. Now again, for this one, we're gonna have our palms, our fingertips facing out. You're gonna kind of grab onto that platform, whatever it is that you're using. And we're gonna do dips. So for this, our feet will be out. I'm gonna look like this on the side. We'll be here. You're just gonna dip down as low as you can, get to about 90 degrees if you can, and then come back up. We're gonna go for 40 seconds. Ready, set, go. Get it, leg straight. Down, up. Now again, slow on the way down, and if you want a little bit extra on this one, go ahead and lock your feet a little bit at the top, and flex your triceps, those muscles on the back of your arm. You get a little bit of an extra burn if you go slow on the way down and freeze it a little bit up top. Oh yeah, Tyler, I see you. Yeah, boy. Good job, Cody. I see you. Way to work. Way to work. This reminds me of Portugal. So good. All right, we got about 10 seconds left. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep going. Nice. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. And you got 20 second break. Way to go. Keep it up. Keep it up. All right. During this break, I'll explain the next one. So the next thing that we have up is our Lay down, fingertip extension. So you'll lay down on it like this. That's why you wanted something that you can lay down on. You're gonna get it to the point where your elbows are even with the rest of your body. So you don't want it too low. You also don't want to try to bring them way up. Just have them even. And all you're gonna do is go from here. You're gonna bring your fingertips up and they're gonna to touch in front of your head and they come back. So they stay on this plane and you just keep going in that direction. Doesn't matter how fast you go, just try to control it nice and slow. We're gonna start in three, two, one, go. Elbows up and bring them out. Touch your fingertips up top, slow on the way back. Nice. My boy Juan has a weight vest on for extra resistance. Oh yeah, look at Juan, I see. You Juan. Make sure you keep those elbows up. A lot of times when people go forward or they, they drop their elbows, keep your elbows up the entire time. You'll feel a nice tension in your back. You just want to keep that tension the entire time. We got 10 seconds left. Slow and controlled. Slow and controlled. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and pause. 20 seconds. Great. Very nice. 
Whew, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. You'll still need those. I'm just mm -hmm. coming here to talk next. So the next thing up, we're going into our dive and flies, our dive and flies. So this is another back centric workout. So we'll have these back here. And essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive. You'll get here and you'll dive, right? Hands coming together, you'll dive down. And then when you fly, you'll bring your elbows up and then set your wings. And you'll come back down, dive, up, fly. Dive and fly, we'll do that for 40 seconds. Tyler, you got anything to say before we start this next set? Gosh, all I gotta say is swoop wings up, let's go. Oh, let's get it. We're gonna start in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and go. Dive and fly. Dive and fly. Really drive those elbows up and pause that action. Up and up. Then dive again. You should feel a nice pull right in your shoulder blades area, those muscles up top in your back. Oh, so good. Nice. Now, Tyler, make sure you bring those hands up at the end, all the way up at the end, Tyler. Good. Oh. So when you come up, Tyler, you want to take your hands and come up right here. Like those at the end, actually flip them up. Oh, yeah, I feel that. Yep, so right here, so you come, yep, there we go. Two actions, yep and then down, very nice, and pause, good, Woo. that's good stuff, so I see a lot of questions to asking what these are working, so the first couple workout, the first workout that we did was working on chest, obviously, it was our wide grip push-ups, second one, we worked on our triceps, so that's these muscles on the back of your arms here, these last two, we've been working on our back, specifically our upper back and our shoulder blades, things here, um, and I'll explain kind of the why behind why we're working those a little bit during our break time. That's going to come after these next two workouts. So the next thing that we're doing is we're going to work on decline push-ups. Now, if you can't do decline push-ups, that's fine. Just go back and do regular push-ups. But for a decline push-up, we're just going to do a push-up with our feet up on the bench. So we'll be here. Our feet will be up. And you'll work on doing a push-up just like this. Now, if you can't do that... Perfectly fine, don't worry about it, just do a normal push-up. But if you want that extra challenge, we're gonna work on those decline push-ups. We're gonna start it up here in five. We're gonna get some music going. Let us know if it gets too loud for y'all. We're gonna get after it right now. Let's go get our- Oh, gotta have some music. Yeah. Ready, okay. go. Okay. Slow on the way down, load on the way up. Slow on the way down. Explode on the way up. It's not about how many push-ups you get. It's about controlling the weight the entire time and having more time under tension. You got 10 seconds left. Keep pushing. Oh. Five. Three. Two. One. And pause. Now, the last workout that we have, this is our last workout for this first round. The last workout is just going to be our wall tricep extension. So I'm going to bring my camera with me for this so you can have a better angle. So essentially, all you want to do is you'll get set up here on a wall. The farther down you go on the wall, the more resistance you'll get. But you'll get your elbows even with your head. You'll have your feet go back behind you. And all you're going to do is you're gonna bring your elbows to the wall and then extend back out. You're gonna have your hands stay in the same place. Elbows to the wall and extend out. This is working your triceps again. So we're gonna do this for 40 seconds. We're gonna start it up here in about five seconds. So go ahead and find a wall. Go. Get ready, get set, and go. Hold all the way to the wall. Hold that tricep extension at the top. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. You got 10 seconds left, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and pause. Very nice. And that is the first round. We got a full minute break here, and I'd love to answer some questions 
during this time. Wow, Cody, Charlie, you guys look so strong right now. You feel, you feel strong? strong? Rudy, basketball strong. <laughs> so during this time right now, I'd love to answer some questions as we look through. Yeah, I see some people saying, yeah, that burns. Triceps feel great. Um, and so essentially, why are we working triceps and back so much? And so if you think about your upper back back here, that's where you can really widen yourself. And you talk about being bigger and faster and stronger. Well, if you're wider, you have a better center of gravity. If you're wider up top here, you're able to take more contact. If you're wider up top, all right, you can have people hit and you'd be able to push through that because you have more mass. And so as a basketball player, making sure that you have wider shoulders, you're going to have better balance. You're going to be able to take more contact as you drive. And so it's really important for you to have a wider upper body, which is why you want to make sure that you work on that upper back to help with that strength and stability as you take hits and bumps and drive towards the basket and try to finish. Hey, Rudy, um, that's really good. One question I thought in there was, was good on that one. How far back should your feet be off the wall on that last one we did? That last one? That's a really good question. And the answer is it depends. It depends on how difficult you want the workout to be. So the farther back you go, essentially the more your body gets horizontal, the harder the workout's going to be. And so if you're starting off and it's really challenging, have your body be more straight up, your feet will be closer to the wall. It'll be a little less challenging you can get that work. And as you get better, you can take another step back and another step back. And so that way you continue to get more and more tension and you're pushing more and more of your own body weight as you go through that workout. So that's a really good question. I like it. And hey, there's a lot of other questions in the Q&A. We're going to get to them at the end for what you should be doing and how you can get this workout. But Rudy, let's keep our heart rate up, man. Let's get back to it. We'll get to your questions. Love that. All right, wide grip push-ups, 40 seconds. Everybody get ready. We're starting back from the top in five, push four, up. three, two, one, go. Remember, wide grip, fingers out and go. Push-up time, push-up time, push-up time. Remember, slow on the way down, ah, slow on the way down. See if you can get your chest all the way to the ground, not to drop and land on the ground, but just get a quick tap on the ground with your chest and then explode on the way up. It's all about controlling your body weight here. Nice and slow, and then explode on the way up. Good. Work on seeing if you can get those fingers facing out so you put less pressure on your wrist. Oh, good job. Way to go. I see you, Charlie. Good stuff. Now we've got about eight seconds left. Eight seconds left. There you go. Good job. Oh, I see the workout face, Charlie. You're working. I see you. And pause. 20 seconds, and we're going back to our dips. Go ahead and grab your platform, your bench, whatever it is that you're using. We're getting right back into it. Starting back in five, four, three, two, one, go. Going back into our dips. Oh. Okay. Can see it's amazing, so amazing, so amazing, so amazing, it's amazing, so amazing, so amazing, amazing. Yeah. So amazing. Slow on the way down, slow on the way down. I'm a monster, I'm a maiden. I know this world is changing. Never gave in, never gave Ten seconds left. Ooh. And I'm a great one. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, 20 second break. Next up, we have our laying down extensions where you're getting those finger touches. So keep that platform. Let's go ahead and get lay down on it, get comfortable. And remember, elbows even with the rest of your body, you keep them on that same plane the whole time. Starting in three, two, one, go. And touch, slow, nice and slow. Feel your back contract the whole time. It should never get a break, the whole 40 seconds. Yeah. Let's go. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and pause. All right. We got a 20 second break. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. We got a few more left. Let's make sure we finish strong here. Next up, we have our dive and flies. So you'll dive down, 
You'll bring those elbows up, and then remember that last motion, that third motion, is to bring those hands up and get, get a nice contraction right here. Ready, set, go. Dive and fly. Dive and fly. Dive and fly. Dive. Good work, everybody. Keep it up. Dive and fly. We got 20 seconds. We're halfway through. Halfway through this round. Going, going. Oh, so good. Oh, seconds left. Flashlights, left. Four, three, two, one, and pause. Now we're going into our decline push up again. So, our decline push up or our regular push up, if the decline is a little bit too challenging right now. And we're going to go again. Remember, it's slow on the way down, explode on the way up. We're starting in five, four, three, Two, one, go. Visitation. Now, we met at Borders. Told us you'd take me back. I'll be more supportive. I made mistakes. I bought my head. You caught something dry. I spent that bread. She need a daddy. Baby, please. Can't let her go up in that ghetto university. Good second left, everybody. Keep your heart. Yeah. You got it. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Come on. Almost there, almost there. Ah. Ah. Five, four, three, two, four. one, ah. time. Flex on him, flex on him, flex on him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Our last one is our tricep wall extension. So go ahead and find your wall again. Woo. Tricep wall, get it on the wall, ladies. The farther back your feet go, the more challenging it'll be. Starting in three, two, one, go. Yeah, go and get Keep pushing, everybody. Push it, keep pushing. Got 10 seconds left. 10 seconds means 10 more. Let's go. Three, two, one, and done. Very nice, very nice. Great job, everybody. Great job. Way to work. If you're with someone, go ahead and get them a high five. If you're not with anyone right now, go ahead and drop a celebration for everyone in the chat box. You all just killed it. That was two rounds of a really intense upper body workout. Not a lot of rest time, a whole lot of action. Congratulations, everybody. Way to work. Way to work. Man, Rudy, big snaps to you. I know I'm sweating. Cody and Charlie, are you sweating? Yeah. Let's go. All right. So, Rudy, got a couple of questions. Um, let's have you do the first one or the second one. Uh, Rudy, first one from Zarco. I hope we said your name right, Zarco. Good question. How many times should you do an upper body workout a week? Nice, great question. And again, the answer is gonna be it depends. <laughs> it depends on you know, how often you're used to working out, number one. The last thing you wanna do right now is try to do way, way, way more than you're used to doing because your body can, act, you can actually end up hurting yourself. So I would say you know, whatever feels comfortable, you know, if you're used to doing one upper body workout a week, do two right now. You know, if you're used to doing two, maybe try and push and do three. Um, you know, but I would say, you know, if you, if you have goals of really building a lot of muscle mass, you need to work out more in those areas. If you're trying to get your lower body stronger, do more in those areas. And so build your workouts around what you want to improve on, and that'll dictate how many times you should work that muscle group out per week. Yeah, Rudy, that's really good. Good answer. And let me just build on that a little bit more and also answer another really good question about shooting and upper body strength. Uh, first, you now have, and this is how we're gonna keep adding to your package here, you've got a lower body workout by Rudy and an upper body workout by Rudy. And you can access both of those now at pgcpeak.com. You can see all the past episodes. So if you need a reminder of what the workout's gonna be, pgcpeak.com, and then just decide, I'm going four workouts a week. I'm going twice upper, twice lower. Or I'm doing two workouts a week, one upper, one lower. Here's the thing. You don't need to go from zero to 10. 
You just have to go from zero to one. You don't have to know the next 10 steps, just know the next step. A lot of people get discouraged about working out and changing their body because they see how far away that destination is. Don't look at that far away destination. Don't look about trying to add every day from no days. Just go from zero to one. The first step's always the hardest. Um, and then I'll just segue real quick. Anything you wanna add on that one, Rudy? Yeah, I'll just say kind of what we said earlier, right? It's just hit the single. Like 10, 10 push-ups every day is better than no push-ups every day. You know what I mean? Like just hit the single, do something that you know you can do and knock that out the park. And then once that becomes easy, add to it. Um, but just focus on being consistent right now. You can add as you go. Yeah, that's really good. And another really good question didn't come in the Q&A, came in the chat boxes. All right, what does this help and what impact would this have on my shooting? Here's two really important tips for you about strength and shooting. Tip number one, you must be able to shoot from further out in order to play at higher and higher levels. I'll repeat that for you. You must be able to make shots, not just take shots, you must be able to make shots from further and further out to be able to play at higher and higher levels. The one thing that has allowed the thousands of players that I've trained to extend their range beyond good technique things is upper body strength. Lower body as well, but upper body strength especially. So the more you do an upper body strength workout, it's gonna naturally allow you to extend your range. Here's number two. Keep shooting and keep working out simultaneously. A lot of players refuse to work out upper body because they feel like it hurts their shot. It doesn't actually hurt their shot as long as you keep shooting consistently. If you work out and shoot and work out and shoot consistently, it won't negatively impact your shot. So do this to shoot better. Uh, Rudy, next question for you guys to answer is, <laughs> this is a good one, how can I get better at push-ups? <laughs> great, question. great question i'm gonna hit that one really quickly and then i want to just go back to that point that you just said Tyler, it was so so important we'll, we'll hit that one first then yeah hit back go back to the shooting one and we'll go to push-ups next for the shooting one um you have to work out during season as well yeah. so i see a lot of players where their shooting percentage dives off i hit a slump and like I, it still feels the same but i'm short coach well that's because you were stronger at the beginning of the season and you did all these preseason workouts you were hitting the weight room and I asked the player, when's the last time you got a weight room workout? And when's the last time you lifted? And they're like, oh, like before the season three months ago. Well, it feels short because you are short because you're not as strong anymore. You have to maintain. And this is a really easy way. That right there in two circuits, without me having to explain, it takes about 13 minutes. In 13 minutes, you can get an upper body workout where you feel like you've got something out of it and you can do it really quickly. So there's no excuse. You got to do it in season if you want to stay consistent. So that's kind of speaking to the shooting point is you got to keep doing that during season. Um, the second question, getting better at push-ups, same as getting better at jumping, same as getting better at shooting, um, do more of them. <laughs> Just do them more often. And I would actually say that less is more. I'd rather have you do one really, really good push-up where you get all the way chest to floor, control your body and hit that one, than go do 10 reps where you're barely getting any rotation or any actual motion because you're not actually getting better at that push-up. Do one really good one and do five sets of one and then see if you can get two and then see if you can get three without stopping and naturally you'll kind of build, but you got to start doing it right before you can do multiple and do a whole bunch of numbers. Yeah, that's so good, Rudy. And we've got, we've got so many questions pouring in that we just don't have time to get to. So I'm going to answer one more and then tell you how you can get your questions answered because we want to help you. And there's, there's someone here asking if you played division one basketball, Rudy, people want to know more about you. Okay. All you got to know is Rudy is a bucket, a defender and a boss on the basketball court and has played with everyone at every level. And we're going to talk more about um, how to play at the highest level as we continue to do these peak episodes. Um, here, here's the last one we're going to answer Rudy. And then we're going to get him out of here and the, the question is this how many days a week should you be working out and I'll go first maybe you can you can clean me up at the end Rudy so here it is and, and how long should you be working out for is another one so let's smash those two together how many days and how long and there here's, here's the big picture answer it's different for everybody it's different for everybody I would need to spend time with you one-on-one -on -one to really find out what is the right fit for you now so that we can build your long-term workout plan um, but here's, here's a broad answer, then I'll throw it over to you, Rudy. How many days a week should you be working out and how long should you be working out? The length of your workout should be a length that you can do consistently. Uh, I've, I work with players that are like, oh, I'm pumped up. I'm going to go work out and they go do a two-hour workout and then don't work out again for another two weeks. It's better to do something for five minutes every day than to do a two-hour workout once a week. That's what you need to know. Adjust accordingly. What would you add to that, Rudy? Yeah, I think just to kind of two things on what you just said to kind of clean it up is 
Number one, your dreams will dictate your actions. So what do you want? And that'll dictate how many times you should work out. The second thing, like we said, just hit the single. <laughs> Stop trying to go for the home run and strike out. You hit it once and then you don't hit it again for 15 days or whatever the case may be. Just hit the single every day. And if you do that, you're on the right track. Be consistent. Yeah, that's good. And for all of your other questions, they were very specific to you. And that's what we're seeing. That's what you want is you want some individualized training. You want an individualized plan and just keep an eye out. It's coming. Keep an eye out. Uh, starting next week, we're going to be giving you the opportunity for our PGC plus one-on-one -on -one mentorship with guys like Rudy and girls like Lily. And so keep that, keep that desire coming, keep communicating that to us. And you will see very soon uh, how you can get one-on-one -on -one with us and how we can help you out during this time. We got more workouts coming. A uh, couple reminders before we get out of here. All right, the 2020 vision workout, get out, find an outdoor court and drop your scores in. Kyle's gonna drop that in the chat box for you. Um, we've got a, a video about what could Discord qualify you from getting a scholarship like once coaches are recruiting you what could disqualify you and we don't want anyone to get disqualified after you've done the hard work because of a couple of decisions you make so check out this video that links in there as well we just want to keep giving you good resources um, you can see this workout and our lower body workout at pgcpeak.com subscribe on youtube and there are a ton of workouts you can do at home if there's some questions for ball handling workouts go to our youtube channel please subscribe we have many there and many more coming and oh this is big tomorrow's episode um, i've got world renowned skills trainer nba trainers work with multiple nba players college players high school players and he's going to talk to you about your off-season development how can you have your best off-season yet that's edward leblanc coming tomorrow i'm tyler that's rudy this is the peak we got stronger and we'll see you tomorrow we'll see y'all We'll have a, some music playing here on the way out with a couple links so you can grab those. We'll shut it down in about 30 seconds. Celebrate.